If telling people to slow down and to put down their phones was enough, well, then Denver would not have more traffic deaths than homicides. But considering that it is not enough, and that is how people are dying on our streets these days, Arnusha Roy asked the mayor if he thinks it's a public health crisis. So we ask people to put down their phones, put them in their glove compartment, in their trunk if they have to. The mayor knows this message feels familiar. Every spring, summer, we do a press event like this. More people have died while traveling on Denver streets, including pedestrians, bicyclists, and car crashes, than the number of homicides Denver police are investigating. If you want to know if it's a public health crisis right now, it is. The Vision I mean, Zero plan is to have zero traffic deaths by 2030. Today, the mayor told us part of that plan includes slowing down the speed limit in five Denver corridors. First up, Evans Avenue between Huron and Federal Boulevard. It'll go from 35 to 30 miles an hour by the end of the month. We've had two recent deaths uh, on our streets, and we hear the community's call for for us to do more uh, to prevent these tragedies. And believe me, we're trying to do everything we can. But missing from that list of streets is Colfax and Federal. The nonprofit advocacy group Bicycle Colorado says the two are very busy and can be very deadly. But the city says changing the speed limit would require working with CDOT. We haven't looked at Federal or Colfax just yet, but that doesn't mean we're not going to entertain those conversations. Bicycle Colorado believes in Vision Zero enough to stand by the mayor today. The behavior is a piece of this and we, we need to hear that message that the mayor gave every year. But at the end of the day, it's about um, how easy it is to speed on our streets right now. But also said the city is behind on making safety changes and what they need to see is urgency. I think we're going to find out in the next um, month to four months. The reality is, is that the people have to respond. Um, and it, it, government alone is not going to solve this problem. So as of August 4th, the city says 45 people died in traffic crashes in the city, and they are working on other projects, too. That's like protected bike lanes. They want to make crosswalks better marked mm -hmm. as well so that both drivers and people can see it. That's just a couple of things on their list. That's a part of Vision Zero. Changing speed limits doesn't necessarily change people's speeds, though. I mean, right. that tends to be enforcement. Yeah, so they talked about Denver police doing more mm -hmm. of that traffic enforcement, especially with the start of the school year, which we hear a lot, you know, at this time of year. But the mayor kept going back to the fact that these changes don't work if unless people follow the rules.